Gloria. I'm Gloria. And today I want to share with you a very delicious agua fresca. It's a masa pan or chata that I know that you guys are going to love it. But first things first, my apron is on, my hands are clean, and I am ready to show you my ingredients. cinnamon, evaporated milk, condensed milk, mazapan, those little candies that I will show you, and filtered water. This is everything we need to make a delicious mazapan horchata. So let's get started. I want to start by making my simple syrup. I'm going to add my sugar and then I'm going to add my water just enough to cover the sugar. Okay, this is done. Let's take it to the stove and start cooking it. Okay, my friends, we're going to start making our simple syrup. It's going to take about two to three minutes before the sugar has dissolved completely. When this is done, I'll show it to you. This, this is how we make the simple syrup. I'll see you in a bit. My friends, the, the sugar has dissolved completely. And now I'm going to turn off the stove and I'm just going to let it rest until it's completely cooled down. So when we start using it. I have my rice here and my cinnamon stick. What I did last night is that I, I added some water to the rice and to the cinnamon stick. And I covered it and then left it in the refrigerator overnight to hydrate the rice hydrate the cinnamon stick so it releases all their flavors now i am ready to start adding it to my blender cup i'm going to start adding my cinnamon stick and my rice and i am going to start using the same water that is in this little plate i'm just going to add all the rice in here making sure that we add everything in here and we are going to go ahead and blend it we want to blend it for at least three to four minutes until it's really nice and blended it was blending for about three minutes and it looks really nice and here I am ready to open it and I'm going to go ahead and put it through a sifter. But I'm going to help myself with this glass cup and then I'm going to add my sifter here and we're going to sift it. We want to make sure that we leave behind the little pieces of rice and the cinnamon. And I just added just a little bit of water to the blender cup to make sure that I get everything in here. Okay, and this is what I'm going to do because this is what we don't want in our agua fresca. Now I am ready to start adding my condensed milk. Just like this, I'm going to go ahead and add one whole can. Okay, now that I have added the whole can of condensed milk, now I'm adding the evaporated milk. We want to go ahead and add everything in here. And now I am ready to start mixing it and incorporating everything perfectly well. When everything is really nice and incorporated, I am going to start with my vanilla extract. Just make sure that you use 100% vanilla extract. This vanilla is made at home. So I'm adding two tablespoons of the vanilla extract and I'm going to put it aside. 
Now I have my masa panes. This is a very um, Mexican candy made out of um, peanuts and sugar. And look, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to start opening one by one and I'm going to be adding it to my blender cup. The blender cup, I rinsed it and I made sure that there was no pieces of rice in there, okay? So it's nice and clean. I am going to continue peeling the rest of the masa panis. In total, I'm using 12. To this, I'm just going to add a little bit of water, maybe a cup or two and I'm gonna go ahead and just blend it completely for about two to three minutes. Let's blend. Now that everything is completely blended, now is the time to start adding it to the mixture of milks that we have on the side. We're not gonna put this through a sifter. This is gonna go directly into our mixture of the three milks. So we're just gonna go ahead and add it and just make sure that we're whisking it at all time. I'm gonna add just a little bit of water to rinse out my blender cup and add everything in here. We don't wanna throw anything away because this agua fresca comes out so delicious. Okay, this is now done. Now what I'm going to do is add a little bit of the simple syrup remember the sugar is to taste okay so it is to taste right now i'm just gonna go ahead incorporate it and taste it one more time to see if this is fine or if i need to add a little more simple syrup this is per perfectly fine i am ready to start adding some ice to my picture and i'm gonna add just enough because i want the water to be really nice and cold i'm gonna help myself with a big spoon adding a little bit of time until i am able to just pour it in because i don't want to make a mess my friends i really don't want to make a mess so here i'm just going to go ahead pour it in here completely being careful that i don't spill anything outside and look at this this is done we're just going to mix it one more time and it's really cold i am ready to start showing you from close up how this looks look how this horchata of masa pan looks i have my cup of glass here of course full of ice because this is what i am going to enjoy when i'm ready to taste it and you know something refresh myself because it's so hot and this is a perfect drink look at this Oh my gosh, I am ready to taste it, my friends. Here, what I am going to do, I'm going to add just a pinch of the powder cinnamon right on the top. I want to make sure that I add it and look how beautiful this looks. I'm going to add some to my big pitcher. And this is done. I am ready to show you my presentation because I really can't wait to taste it and enjoy it. You know that this is the part I love, I enjoy, and I really look forward to tasting my recipes. Let's see how this came out. It has a lot of powder cinnamon right on the top, and it really just looks amazing. It's nice and refreshing, excuse me. Mmm. 
definitely. This horchata of masa pan, it's incredible, delicious. And of course, you can't stop drinking it. Mm. So addicted, so fresh. I mean, with a lot of ice and the cinnamon on the top, this is just amazing. I want you to have agua frescas this summer and enjoy them like I enjoy them with my family. If you liked and loved my recipe, please don't forget to subscribe, give me thumbs up, share my video on social media. Why not? Share my video on social media so Cooking with Gloria keeps growing. Thank you so much for playing this video and the rest of the videos. I really do appreciate it. Before I say I see you soon, I wish you nothing but the best. Peace and love. And of course, I will stay refreshing myself with this masa pan horchata. Bye-bye.